OCR GCSE Computer Science Episode 4 Factors Affecting the CPU Performance Learning objective in this video, we will be primarily looking at factors that affect the CPU's performance. Now, these are the four things that affect the CPU's performance. Cache, clock speed, RAM amount, and the number of cores. Let's look at them first. Cache. The cache is data storage that's found inside the CPU, and it's really just a faster version of the RAM. However, it only holds a very small amount of temporary information. A larger CPU cache gives the CPU faster access to more data because the cache holds a frequently used data. So it's much more faster to access data from the cache than it is from the RAM. And therefore, the bigger the cache, the more data you can access faster. Now let's look at clock speed. So everything in the processor runs at the tick of a clock. The number of instructions a single processor can carry out per second is known as the clock speed. Hence, the faster the clock speed, the greater the number of instructions that can be carried out. But sometimes if the clock speed is too high, it could cause the CPU to be overclocked and result in crashes and even permanent damage. RAM amount. So RAM acts as the main memory. Everything that you do when you open a computer needs to be moved from the storage to the RAM. And therefore, the more RAM you have, the less reliance on virtual memory, because virtual memory is used when your RAM gets full up. But the thing is, virtual memory is slower. So when you have more RAM, less reliance on virtual memory, and therefore be faster access speeds. Number of cores. So each processor core can process data one at a time. So if you have a single processor core, you're processing one instruction at a time. Therefore, the more cores a computer has, the more data the CPU can process simultaneously, so at the same time. But again, just like clock speed, it is limited to how many cores the computer is originally built to facilitate. If you're trying to get a quad core processor and get that to be used in a computer which can only facilitate dual core, then it will only run at dual core and you would have practically wasted your own money. Now let's do some exam question practice. Explain why using a computer with a large random access memory might improve the CPU's performance. This is three marks. Let's go through the answer. So the greater the RAM, the greater the amount of programs that can be run. And therefore, the lesser the reliance on virtual memory, which is much more slower. Hence, the faster a computer using more data will be. So because there's more RAM, that means that more programs can be held and the less the reliance on virtual memory because the less likely of a chance the RAM will be full up. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did find it helpful, be sure to like and comment and also subscribe to Noble for GCSE and for later Noble for A-Level. See you soon.